My name is Clay Lawrence. I make about $26,000 per month just helping local business owners get Google reviews. And I started off doing all this just by white labeling a software called High Level. And today I'm going to tell you seven things I wish I would have known before getting started with High Level that would have saved me a bunch of time, saved me a bunch of money, and helped me make money quicker. And so, hope you enjoy it. Let's dive in. Just so you can see that I'm not capping, as the kids say nowadays, you can see there, this is my Strobe account. You can see last month, month to date, April 1st to April 30th, made $26,600 just helping local business owners get Google reviews. No, this does not include any affiliate revenue or anything from my YouTube channel. That is all just from local business owners. So the first thing I wish I would have known before diving into high level was I wish I would have known without a shadow of a doubt that it is real. When I got into high level, it seemed like some kind of hype scheme. You know, it, it, it had that edge to it. You know, you, you saw the real businesses, the marketing businesses that were using high level. But then you also had like the, the people making YouTube videos about that it just seemed like hype stuff, you know. And that's, you know, a lot of those hype people are also what got me into it. And so from day one, I had this kind of skepticism that, hey, this might not work for me. This might just be a pyramid scheme. This might just be something that's not real. And like, this is going to work, Steve. I just want to sit here and tell you on the other side of working with High Level for like four years and using it for to grow my business, it is 100% real. And it's a very powerful software and system that you 100% can use to make money to you know have time freedom, have financial freedom, and to grow a business to what you want. Because I spent a lot of time doubting that this was even a thing, right? And that was just wasted energy, wasted effort. I didn't go as hard as I should have as soon as I should have. So yeah, the first thing is that it's totally real. This is You can do this. You can use high level for a legit business to make legit money. People make millions of dollars a year using high level. And it doesn't just have to be affiliate posting YouTube videos. Like you can use it for your marketing company, whatever type of company you're trying to build and make money. The second thing I wish I would have known is that YouTube is about to become your best friend, right? Like I have learned everything about Review Harvest to grow Review Harvest to what it's been from YouTube. And that's so much of the reason why I make these videos is because I learned from people just like me three, four, five years ago that really, really helped me grow and grow my business and figure out how to make money online and do this whole marketing high level thing. And so I promise you, if you're having an issue, whether it be a technical issue, or it be a marketing issue, whether it be a sales issue, there's somebody on YouTube posting about it that's been in your situation or a very similar one, and you can help learn those lessons without the scars. Number three, choose your affiliate wisely. I've talked about this before, guys, but I messed up here. This was one of the biggest mistakes I made. When I signed up with High Level, I wasn't thinking, I didn't understand how the affiliate you know, work, ecosystem worked where people will give away hours of their time. Like I do every single week, hours and hours and hours of my week goes into the community to help other people grow their business. And so I probably invested over a thousand hours into training, snapshots, templates for people that want to grow a similar type of business as, as me on High Level. And when I signed up, I just signed up with somebody that had a flashy video and didn't really provide any sort of support, weekly coaching calls. I got, I think I got a snapshot, but it wasn't very specific, right? You have some affiliates who are very broad and they're just like, oh, they're just selling the shiniest thing every single week, right? And then you have some that are very targeted. Hey, this is exactly how I grew my business. If you want to do the same, do it the same way, here's all the resources I use. I think that you probably will see more success if you focus on somebody's a little more focused, right? But at the same time, if you're just trying to use high level for your marketing agency, you don't need a business model. You're just trying to use high level for your marketing agency and want to learn your tricks in the trade and you know kind of how, what, what buttons to press. It might make more sense to go with somebody who's more broad and might give some additional training on like how to use high level 101, even though most of that stuff you could probably find on YouTube. But yeah, I would just figure out what your goals are. See if there's an affiliate out there who has done what you're wanting to do and offers great support and training to do it and sign up under them because your sign up means a lot. Number four, high level can do anything. But if you're just getting started, you should probably stick to something that's proven. Right. So when I was just getting started, I made the mistake of seeing all the stuff that high level can do and all the features, all the hundreds of things, thousands of things you could do with high level. And I said, oh, I'm I'm new to this whole game, but I'm going to create something unique and special and sell it very specifically. And I'm going to be a billionaire because, you know, bad idea, I mean, bad idea, like find something that works, period. Like if you're just getting started, if you have a lot of experience and you want to do something unique and something totally cool, you don't need the money and you're not just getting started, then yeah, sure, go build something crazy with high level. You can build a lot of cool cool things. But if you're just getting started and you're like, you know, working a part-time job and you want to eventually quit it or you want to, you know, pay off your bills or whatever you want to do, I would recommend picking something that is proven. Like there's so many models. You can do the SMMA, right? You can do a marketing agency. That's proven, tried and true. You need five people paying $2,000 a month and you've got an amazing business. And that's not super stressful either. Just five people, 2K per month. 
Do the same thing for all five. Easy peasy. Do the reputation management thing. That's obviously the play I've gone. It's proven. Business owners are willing to pay a couple hundred dollars a month to help you get them reviews. Like you can do that. You can do the websites thing, design website. You can do high end, charge a lot of money, or you could do like the lower end website. So they just pay you a lower monthly fee. There's lots of information on YouTube about that. Like I might not be the best affiliate for that. I might not be the best affiliate for the marketing agency, but obviously if you can do the reputation agency, that would probably make a lot of sense for me because that's exactly what I do, right? But I just see it all the time. Like people just getting started with high level and they're like, oh, I'm going to do this thing. I've never seen anybody do before. It's really cool. And I'm right there with you. I'm like, heck yeah, man, that's awesome. But if you if you have no idea what you're doing, you're just getting started in business and with high level, there's a good chance it's going to be pretty hard to kind of get the, the take off the ground and you're not going to be able to kind of follow a proven playbook. Number five, and this is a big one. Please, 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 please do not ever let the words, I'm not a techie person, roll off your tongue. Do not speak that over yourself. I It's it's so annoying because you're just telling yourself that you're not going to be good at it and then you just let that happen. Because as soon as something happens hard and high level and you, you mess up or you can't figure something out, you just quit and say, I can't do this. I can't do this. I need help. I need this. And you blame other people around you. No, do not say, I'm not a techie person ever. Don't say that. You can figure it out. You need to develop the skill and develop the character trait of everything is figure outable. Like how good am I at troubleshooting? How good am I at problem solving to figure out whether it's a tech issue, whether it's a marketing and sales issue? Because I promise you, if you're having a tech issue, then you're going to have marketing and sales issues as well. And if you're quitting immediately on the tech issue side of things, then that's going to transfer over to the other stuff. You know, obviously how you do one thing is how you do everything. There's there's some stuff that I don't love about that. But I digress there. I'm just saying like, just if you speak that over yourself that I'm not a techie person, I'm not a salesperson, just be positive. Say, I just can't, I'm not figuring it out right now. I, I, I don't know how to do it right now. I can't figure it out. But you you can figure it out. It's just going to take time. I just hear that all the time when people getting started with high level, like, oh, I'm just going to find a VA to do all my work for me and I'll just do the marketing sales. And I'm like, good luck you know, enjoy, have a great life because that can totally work, but it's going to be really hard to find somebody you can afford if you're just getting started and train them and guide them on what needs to be done. If you don't know how to do it yourself, it's doable. You can do it. But just that belief of like you saying you're not a techie person, when stuff breaks, if they're not there, you replace you, you become very vulnerable. And so I just think don't speak that over yourself. You are the type of person that can figure stuff out. The sixth thing I wish I would have known is that it still comes down to your ability to market and sell. I know hundreds, if not thousands of people in the high level community that know high level like the back of their hand, but they're still very frustrated with how much money they're making. They're still not happy with how how much money they're making. And that's because marketing and selling and running a business and all that stuff is the more valuable skill set. You know, learning high level is great and that is a valuable skill and people will pay you just to know high level. But at the end of the day, learning how to package something up and sell it a hundred times, market it a hundred times, put the reps in to actually get the awareness out there to create an awesome business that gives you time or location freedom or whatever you're looking for. That is the more valuable skill. And so you can't spend all day in high level tinkering around. And this sounds a little bit contrary to what I just said. What I mean is, is like build what you need to build to sell, right? Don't go tinker in high level, I mean, this is what I did. I mean, I always got obsessed with automation stuff and I would spend weeks and sometimes months building custom systems that I'm gonna sell over and over again and then I'll never sell or never market them because I just was tinkering. I was just delaying the work of actually marketing and selling what was working, right? A great example here is that I had about 150 SaaS customers, right? 140, 150 SaaS customers for reputation management. And I was just kind of hitting a roadblock with ads and like continuing to sell. And I was honestly just getting bored too. And so I spent like a month and a half building this automated website system where I fill out a form, it creates an automated 14 page website, SEO optimized, uses AI, great text, all that stuff. It it was amazing. It was really cool. I did build it. And it never saw the light of day because I started to market and sell it. And I realized, oh, this is difficult to market and sell. Like this is, this is difficult to market and sell. It presents a new thing of challenges. And I think it probably still could work and it'd be great, but I already know the reputation management works. I already played that game. So let me just keep playing that game and kind of crack this code of how do I break the next level, break through the next level of getting to 200 and 250, which so now we're over 250 SaaS customers for review harvest. And so also like if you're white labeling high level as SaaS, then this really applies to you. We're like, we all got the same product, right? And so it's our job to kind of tweak it and figure out how to market it and customize it to our audience 
to then make it more applicable to them and sell something completely different and have a good offer and all that stuff. Which I, I think selling white label products is, is 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 an amazing place to start because you know, you know if you if you're selling high level or something that's good, you know the product works. You know it's proven. And and the, the reason they're white labeling is just distribution. We're going to distribute it for them. And so you have a proven product. Now you just get to learn how to market and sell in an environment in a sandbox that you know can work. And so yeah, learn how to market and sell. It's still going to come down to that. It doesn't matter how good you are using high level. It doesn't matter what affiliate you signed up under. If you can't generate attention and convert that attention into dollar signs, then you're cooked. And the last thing, number seven, I wish I would have known is that you have to choose your lane, do some research, you know, work for people for free, work for 10 or 15 business owners for free, figure out what you like, do websites, do automations, do whatever you want to do, AI agents, whatever you want to do, figure it out. But once you pick, stay in your lane. Stay on the path. Which is tricky with high level because high level is always re- releasing new features and sell this, that, and the other. And you kind of have to like, all right, figure out in the high level ecosystem and whatever, what do I like? What do I want to do? What I think it works best with for me? Pick that and then ignore everything else. Ignore all the new features. Ignore the webinars. Ignore whatever and just stay in your lane. That's what's going to give you the best chance to succeed instead of jumping from AI agents to websites to funnels AI to all their features, which are great, which are amazing. Like, I'm not saying they're not. I'm just saying you kind of have to ignore all of that to focus on what actually works for you. And if you just stay distracted, you'll never make any progress. So I hope you enjoyed this Yapathon. This is the video that I would have liked to watch before I got started with High Level. If you are interested in signing up high level, you know, starting a business that makes 10K, 20K per month and some semi-passive income to give you the time freedom, the location freedom, all that sort of stuff, feel free to sign up with my link down below in the description or watch all my other YouTube videos. Uh, You'll see so much information about high level and how I built my business exactly. I have a nine hour training on YouTube going over exactly how I did it, right? And if you sign up my link to high level down in the description or you upgrade to the next plan of high level, then you'll get access to my community totally for free. So in that community of four coaching calls a week, three of them with me, one with a Facebook ads expert, and I basically cover everything. I don't hold anything back. We got 670 people in there learning every day, growing their business, have people getting clients all the time. People are winning. So feel free to check that out. And I look forward to seeing you in there. Peace.